This is an amazing looking question. We have a rectangle whose length is 18 units and width is X. Then we have two circles inside this rectangle such that both of them touch each other and are also touching this rectangle externally. Diameter of this circle is 10 and that of this circle is 16 units. So what will be the value of X? The radius of this circle will be 5 and that of this circle will be 8 units. Now from the center of this circle, drop a vertical line on this side of the rectangle. Do the same for this center. Therefore, this is equal to 5 units. And if this is 8, then this is also equal to 8 units. So if this entire thing is 18 units, then this piece will be equal to 18 minus 5, minus 8 or 5 units. Hey, but if this is of length 5, then how can this be of length 8 units? Which means this is an impossible problem, or is it? It is not an impossible problem, it's just that the figure is not drawn to scale. Actual figure will look something like this, where length will be this side and width will be this side. That's why it's important to rely on the given numbers, not just the diagram. Remember that sometimes drawings can trick you, but the numbers won't. Okay, so shift everything from this figure to this figure. Now draw a horizontal line from the center of this 8-unit radius circle like this. Label this piece as Y. This is the same as the radius of this circle, and thus it will be 5. And similarly, this will be 8. So we have X equals 5 plus Y plus 8, or 13 plus Y. Now consider this right triangle. This is Y, this is 5, and the hypotenuse is 5 plus 8, or 13 units. Thus, 5 square plus y square equals 13 square, or y equals 169 minus 25, or 144 units. This gives y as 12, and thus x equals 13 plus 12, or 25 units. That was super cool. So good.